Hi, my name is Becky Shipley, and I'm the current manager of the boiler room. And this is my friend. Hi, my name is Molly, and I am an ex-manager of the boiler room and a long-term patron. I've been involved for about 10 years, I think. How long have you been involved? I've been involved about the same amount of time. I started hanging out at the boiler room when I was about 15 years old. And it, for me, it was a place um, where I found a community. And I really, really enjoyed it. And um, I'm still involved uh, almost 10 years later. So uh, the boiler room used to be a coffee house, and now it's going to morph into a restaurant, which I find very exciting because we've been waiting a long time for this. We finally get a chance to shine, be on the downtown street front, and be in the public eye. And it's so exciting. We're getting this whole new building, and our friends are making beautiful artwork that's part of the scenery that we see, and it's turning into an amazing piece of work, and I'm really excited about it. Just recently, um, dozens of volunteers have put in countless hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours, to make the boiler room um, happen. Um, we were kicked out of our space about six months ago in the Uptown Business District here in Port Townsend, and we are very thankful to have the opportunity to um, be able to recreate the boiler room in a new space. We are now in the back courtyard of the new boiler room, and we've done a lot of work on this courtyard. You wouldn't be able to tell because there's still a lot of crap out here, but um, this is where a lot of the stuff had to get taken out so that we could paint inside. And um, the patio here that we just made uh, was made by two brothers in town, Aragorn and Ujana, and they did a wonderful job. It was an expensive job, and they donated all the time and materials to the boiler room. Um, I believe that the materials came from Henry Hardware as well. And I am very happy that it got done. It's beautiful. And this is a volunteer. Her name is Alana Gear, and um, she's been hanging out at the boiler room for several years. Alana, what is the boiler room? Uh, the boiler room is, or was, a volunteer-run coffee shop. The boiler room is really more of like the spirit of a group of kids all getting together to make something happen. Uh, and then it's just a place for us to be. It's home. It's a place for concerts, art, hanging out, and whatnot. Alana, what does the boiler room mean to you? Like, how does it make you feel? Stoked. I love the boiler room. It's like my home. Uh, it's, you know, where I met everyone that I know. It's been really important for me in my whole teenage years. And I'm stoked to be making a new one. Now it's my turn to interview Bic Becky. Why do you like the boiler room? The boiler room for me when I was young was a place that I could go and meet my friends to go do other stuff, to hang out. Um, it was a, a pit stop for me on my way to work and on my way home from school. I could be there. I could use the restroom. I could use the telephone. I could sit around and not buy anything and no one ever chased me out. And um, I really liked that. Um, I met all of my current friends at the boiler room. I have a really wonderful group of friends and we um, are still in touch. I'm 24 years old. I've known my friends for um, almost 10 years now, and I love them. And I really like the new group of kids that have come into the boiler room to make it their own. And I'm looking forward to meeting a new group of kids. Hey, Molly, what's your favorite boiler room memory? I remember we used to have dance nights every Friday, and DJ Matt and um, DJ Nate would come and spin records, and everybody would get really happy and dance all night long until the neighbors would call the police and make us stop. And we used to get sound complaints all the time, and my favorite dance night, I think, I think it was a prom. We had a, you know, a prom to sort of rebel against the high school prom. All the kids that didn't want to go to the high school prom could come to ours. And the DJs took their speakers out into the street, and we all did the YMCA dance on the street for like 20 minutes. I think we did it like twice in a row. And then we just kept dancing in the street until like 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was the only time we didn't get a sound complaint that we were open that late. And I think that was probably the best time I ever had at the boiler room. 
I know that the summer um, has been really hard for me without a boiler room. One, because it's my job to make the boiler room keep running. And um, two, because it's been pretty emotional, um, the closing of the boiler room. A lot of people were sad. Some glass was broken. Um, everyone was crying. And it was a really tough time. We had been in that space for um, about eight years. And um, Alana, what was it like without the boiler room for you this summer? Uh, I remember at first it was really bizarre because, like, me and Lorvac and Jerry and those are other boiler room kids, like, at lunchtime from school, like, we didn't really know what to do, so we just kind of wandered back down to the boiler room and, like, sat out front of it eating Hot Pockets from Vasu. It was just so sort of, like, pathetic. And we were just, like, sitting there, like, God. And, like, we were there for ten minutes before, like, other boiler room people, like, Holly showed up with her kids and, like, a bunch of people just showed up. And we are like, this is so weird. We all have, like, nowhere to go. And I remember, like, nights after that, like, wandering around, like, trying to find people and, like, running to, like, Tony and Lorvac and just being, like, what do we do? And it was like that, you know. This summer, we, like, went to the lake and stuff, so it wasn't as, like, prominent. But, like, I remember at first it was just, like, so, like, mind-boggling, like, how we were going to find our friends and, like, you know, go do stuff. And, like, we were just kind of lost and sitting around on random benches and getting hassled by store owners. I think the boiler room is also really important that it's really important that the boiler room will be open for this winter because as soon as it gets cold people want to go inside and it gets awfully cold here in Port Townsend um, so I'm very glad that we should be opened up by mid-November.